Democrats. Another legislative push for you has been bringing back an assault weapons ban. You've renamed your fundraising pack Beyond Thoughts and Prayers. The money will help candidates who support that effort. If Democrats take back the House, will they get that through? Yes, and last Congress was the first time that we had a uh, assault weapons ban majority in the House of Representatives since I believe the 1990s. It was also the first time that we had a pro-choice majority in the House of Representatives, and those two things are deeply related. The kind of majority in Congress that votes to ban assault weapons is the kind of majority in Congress that also protects a woman's right to choose. Uh, and so my leadership pack is focused on, frankly, politicizing the issue of gun violence. I'm so sick of hearing my Republican colleagues divert to mental health issues or say that we actually need to arm teachers or claim that the Second Amendment prevents any common sense regulations. The majority of Americans do not agree with them. The majority of Americans want an assault weapons ban. They want safe storage laws. They want red flag laws to keep weapons out of the hands of people with mental health uh, challenges. And Congress needs to act. Well, so as you well know, for a decade, 94 to 2004, there was a ban on assault rifles in this country. It was a very different time politically with yes. a very mm. different Supreme Court politically. Do you think an assault weapons ban would survive under the current Supreme Court makeup? I want to find out. Let's force the question in front of the Supreme Court. Obviously can't speak to their jurisprudence. In the long run, we need to have a Democratic president and a Democratic Senate that will nominate more of the federal judiciary to have an updated interpretation of the Second Amendment, which I will add, the only time the word regulation appears in the United States Constitution is to describe how the government should approach weapons. So this reading of the Second Amendment is preventing any type of control over firearms is just ahistorical. And we need a Supreme Court that recognizes what the Constitution actually says. All right. And so you have a close relationship with President Biden. Uh, you were there for his pretty fiery State of the Union address last week, uh, a couple of weeks ago. Last week, Special Counsel Robert Hur stood by his assessment of the president as a well-meaning elderly man with a poor memory. What is your measure of the president? He's lucid and effective, and he's got a strong staff around him. Uh, the president's old. Uh, he's old. His opponent, Donald Trump, is also old. This election is a choice between two old men. One has been a very strong and effective president in turbulent times. The other has been the worst president in American history, and that is the choice in front of the American people. Do you, do you think he can defy the polls and win in November? Yes, I do. One, he's going to point to the track record of the last three years. Took office facing multiple overlapping crises in our democracy, in our economy, in our public health. And since then, we've seen roaring wage and employment growth. And we've seen the United States lead once again on the world stage. Donald Trump promises more anger, more grievance, uh, and really more vitriol. I want to get one more question here. You're a member of the Transportation Committee. Boeing lately, I, frankly, seems like a mess. There's a lot of questions about quality control, yes. whether it's complying with the NTSB or the FAA's investigations. Um, this was, a, a, frankly, a premium American brand. Yes. What has happened here? Can it be fixed? And how concerned are you? I'm deeply concerned. And some of this can be done from Congress. We can have the regulations. We can have the oversight. But at the core of this, it's about a safety culture at Boeing. As you said, this was one time really an iconic American yeah. company. And I'm rooting for Boeing. I want Boeing to produce airplanes that we're proud of and that we feel safe flying in. But they've got to reset their culture, and that comes from leadership.